Good evening, everyone. I'm Joel Kornhaas. I hope you enjoyed your meal, even if it wasn't your Dutchman chicken and mashed potatoes. I can't make any promises, but I assume that tonight we'll have a little less fighting over who gets a piece of peanut butter pie. We've had a unique year and an even more unique ending, but as a school, I would say we've handled it with a great sense of understanding. I'd like to thank all of our teachers for continuing to do a great job even with the difficult circumstances of online schooling. And I'd like to recognize my fellow students for continuing to work hard in their classes. If we would have known that our last day of school was going to be in March, I'm sure we all would have treated it differently. I think that one thing that both students and staff are looking for in our current situation is closure. Without some of our end of year traditions letting us know that there is an end in sight, the school year can seem to drag on forever. Thankfully, we don't have to lose every tradition. We've continued forward with this event and have even started a few new traditions. Hopefully, we can continue to find unique ways to celebrate our students and teachers as well. If nothing else, I hope this event can bring at least a small sense of closure to anyone watching. I would now like to introduce Highland Senior and Straits. Hi everyone, and again, thank you for tuning in to this special edition of Highlands Academic Honors Banquet. Like you all, I wish that we could be spending this annual Highland tradition together. COVID-19 has impacted and affected so much in our lives, as students, as friends, and as community members. For me, it brought a roller coaster of emotions as well. At first, I was excited, mainly because it saved me from having to take all of my big IB exams. But after that initial excitement, I realized everything that I would be losing in return, and that was pretty disappointing, to be honest. Despite all of these new and sometimes uncomfortable changes we've experienced, this situation has brought out the best in us. We have become adaptable and resilient, and we've learned how to continue to excel academically. This banquet is to honor you all for the effort and hard work you put in, and the commitment and focus you've made to your studies. With that, I'd like to introduce Mr. C.J. Spring, principal of Highland High School. Thank you, Anne, and good evening, everyone. I would like to thank you all for taking time to watch the 2020 Highland High School Honors and Scholarship Banquet. This is the 32nd year of the banquet and the first time that we have not been able to be together to celebrate the hard work, persistence, and growth of our students. This school year has been very unique to say the least. We have experienced very challenging circumstances as a school and watched many opportunities, rites of passage, and experiences taken away from our students. Do we wish the year was different? Absolutely. Would we prefer to be at the Carlisle Inn right now preparing to share a meal together? Yes. Should our seniors be preparing for their final days at Highland? Yes. As we all know, the truth of the matter is that our current circumstances will not allow for any of these things to happen, and for that we are truly saddened. Specifically to our seniors, you will always have a special place at Highland. Each and every one of you have displayed maturity, understanding, and resilience after so many things have been taken from you. The way you have handled our current situation is nothing short of commendable, and no, while it is tough to understand at this moment in time, your response to our current circumstances will only help you in the future. With that being said, we all still control our response to our current environment. We control our ability to remain positive, to support one another, and to celebrate the hard work, persistence, and growth of all of our students. And that is why we are here tonight. There are many people that have helped make tonight happen, and I would like to take a moment to thank them. First, I would like to thank all Highland staff. All Highland staff have put in a tremendous amount of work, whether it be in the classroom, in the building, or in other ways to help support students. Specifically, I would like to recognize Don Hummel and Rita Klein for their work in helping to prepare for this banquet. Also, I'd like to recognize Noah Boyd and Scott Pringle for their support in making sure this banquet went off well. I would also like to thank Nick Brown, our district technology coordinator, who helped to support this recording being available on YouTube. 
I would like to recognize our district superintendent, Mr. Eric Bune, who is supporting all students in making the best of our current learning environment. To all businesses, clubs, and individuals who sponsor scholarships, I say thank you in helping to support the goals and dreams of our students. I would also like to thank the Holmes County Education Foundation and Darla Stitzline for their ongoing support in helping students attend college. Finally, to our parents, I say thank you as well for all your support of our school and your students throughout the year. Finally, I would like to thank our Highland Academic Boosters. The members are Chris Gertz, Ruby Schaup, Missy Sprang, Nick Hostetler, and Craig Hirschberger. Thank you for all the work you did to help this event come together. I would now like to introduce Mr. Eric Bune to come to the stand to recognize our local donors. Thank you, CJ. The purpose of this banquet is to recognize you know, the many academic achievements of our students here at Highland. And these achievements are affirmed by many area individuals and businesses who annually make contributions to these scholarships. This year, those contributions total just over $85,000. This affirmation is an investment in our students as they prepare for the next chapter of their academic lives. To these individuals, businesses, we again say thank you and we appreciate your continued support. The donors this year, the Highland Academic Boosters, East Holmes Local Schools employees, the family of Brian Hummel, Berlin Main Street Merchants, Weaver Leather, Anonymous, Holmes Byproducts, Commercial Savings Bank, Centaur, Malone University alumni, the family of Mike Schaup, the family of Lauren and Mary Hostetler, Holmes County Flea Market, East Holmes Family Care, Hummel Group, Kilbuck Savings Bank, Walnut Creek Cheese, Yoder Lumber, Dutchman Hospitality, Kaufman Realty and Auctions, Keim Lumber, Beaches Incorporated, First Federal Bank, Highland Music Boosters, and Provia. The Community Scholarships donors, the Holmes County Education Foundation, Altcare, Uni University of Akron Wayne College, First Knox National Bank, and PM Graham Family. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bune. We are here tonight to recognize our students' academic accomplishments. Throughout the year and the course of their high school career, these students have worked hard to earn and maintain their grades while balancing extracurriculars, friends, and family. But before we get started, I would like to continue a tradition that we began at last year's banquet. Students, would you please take a moment and stand up? Walk over to your loved ones and give them a hug and tell them how much they mean to you. If you're not with them right now, please send them a brief heartfelt text or better yet, give them a call. Your loved ones have sacrificed, guided you and unconditionally loved you throughout your entire life. Please take this moment to tell them how much they mean to you. Thank you. This year, 127 high school students have maintained a 3.5 GPA through the first three grading periods needed to receive an academic letter, a certificate, a patch, or a trophy. Students who are first year winners receive an academic letter and a certificate. Students who are second year winners receive a patch and a certificate. Students who are third year winners receive a patch and a certificate. And our fourth year winners receive a plaque and a certificate. Students, you'll be able to pick up these awards when you bring your materials back to Highland on the designated days during the final weeks of school. Students who made the principal's list maintained a GPA of 4.0 for the first three grading periods of the school year. 
Students who made the honor roll maintained a 3.5 or above GPA for the first three grading periods of the school year. It is my privilege to now share the students who made the principal's list or honor roll from this year's freshman class. Afia Chupp. Bryn Coyle. Jack Hirschberger. Nicole Hostetler. Gus Johnson. Braden Kaufman. Olivia Lee. Abigail Miller. Kristen Miller. Katie Milas. Andrew Nisley. Grace Schlebaugh. Hannah Schrock, Ella Summers, Garrett Troyer, Lydia Weaver, Kendrick Wilson, Hannah Yoder, Lucas Yoder, Nolan Yoder, Sophia Yoder, and that concludes the freshman list for the, for the year 2020. I would now like to have Mr. Pringle come forward to share the list for the class of 2022, the sophomores. Thank you, Mr. Sprang. At this time, I will read through the principal's list and honor roll list for our sophomores in the class of 2022. Kate Boddicker. Emma Koblenz. Maya Koblenz. Wyatt Freeman. Paige Gertz, Daisy Hampshire, Bethany Hirschberger, Renee Hostetler, Tatiana Hostetler, Kaylin Howe, Wyatt Jones, Kylie Kaufman, Madison Keim, Jade Mast, Cole Miller, Grant Miller, Maddie Miller, Brenna Moan, Paige Nininger, Brooke Pringle, Molly Schleyball, Kendra Schrock, Garrett Schaup, Pia Siegismund, Jeffrey Todaro, Tristina Tucker, Annie Troyer, Jennifer Troyer, 
London Yoder. Tony Yoder. At this time, I would like to introduce uh, East Holmes Superintendent Eric Bune to read off the juniors who have made the principals list or honors list. Thank you, Mr. Pringle. Juniors who have made the principals list and honor roll. Olivia Anderson. Caleb Beachy. Jay Beachy. Jalise Clark. Braley Coyle. Ashley Hirschberger. Heidi Hirschberger. Kylie Horn. Jared Hostetler. Bella Immel. Jade Mast. Samantha Mast. Colin Miller. Jackie Miller. Jordan Miller. Lori Miller. Zoe Miller. Bryn Mullet. Gabby Schlebaugh. Sarah Schlebaugh. Will Schlebaugh. Hunter Summers. Emily Troyer. Keith Troyer. Kylie Troyer. Trey Troyer. Allie Weaver. Kyra Yoder. Macy Yoder. Morgan Yoder. I would now like to introduce Highland Guidance Counselor Noah Boyd to read the seniors who made the principals list or honor roll. Thank you, Mr. Bune. At this time, I would like to read the principals list and the honor roll for the class of 2020. Chloe Ayers. Abigail Beach. Chloe Beachy. James Beachy. Chloe Kahn. Sarah Custer. Abby Flinner. Emric Flinner. Mia Gertz. Allison Gingrich. Tanner Gingrich. Faith Hales. Isaac Hirschberger. Shane Hirschberger. Cordell Hershey. Corey Hostetler. Casey Kalman. 
Dylan Kaufman, Nikki Keim, Joel Cornhouse, Kara Cornhouse, Darlene Mast, Grace Mast, Sydney Mast, Brinley McVicker, Audrey Menue, Adri Miller, Brett Miller, Dylan Miller, Elise Miller, Hannah Miller, Kaylee Miller, Kim Miller, Patrick Miller, Shelby Miller, Taylor Mullet, Melody Murtaugh, Patricia Neininger, Dylan Olson, Chloe Padilla, Brock Raber, Lily Reese, Trent Schlebaugh, Tyler Schrock, Kendra Shetler, Kobe Shetler, Tyler Slaybaugh, Ann Straits, Cassie Troyer, Krista Troyer, Jalissa Whitebrecht, Gabby Yoder, Jaden Yoder, Jordan Yoder, Nathaniel Yoder, Nikki Yoder. I would now like to call Mr. Sprang back up to the podium to begin the scholarship portion of our ceremony. Thank you, Mr. Boyd. Great job, students. Seniors, way to finish your high school career strong. And to the underclassmen, keep up the good work. And now it's time to recognize our seniors and the scholarship recipients. As Mr. Bune shared previously, we will be awarding over $85,000 in scholarships this evening. To start, I would like to begin with our first scholarship, and that is the James Miller Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of James Miller, a 1971 graduate of Highland High School. James was a professor at Goshen College, and an honest donor requests that this scholarship be given in James's memory to a student pursuing a science degree. Previous recipients include Alex Ventura and Alexis Kaufman. This year's recipient of the James Miller Memorial Scholarship is Kim Miller. Kim plans to attend Kent State University and pursue a master's degree in speech language pathology. Congratulations, Kim. Our next scholarship is the child of an East Holmes employee. This scholarship is given to a student whose parent is an employee in the district. Previous recipients include Maya Blocklinger and Grace Mullet. This year's recipient of the Child of an East Holmes Employee Scholarship is Emrick Flinner. Emrick plans to attend Kent State University and major in architecture. Congratulations, Emrick. 
Next, we have the Perry Reese Jr. Memorial Basketball Scholarship. This scholarship is renewable for four years and given to a member of the boys basketball team with the funds provided by the Perry Reese Jr. Memorial Fund. Previous recipients include Cody Miller and Kobe Troyer. This year's recipient of the Perry Reese Jr. Memorial Basketball Scholarship is Corey Hostetler. Corey plans to attend Bowling Green State University and major in sports management or criminal justice. Congratulations, Corey. For our next scholarship, we have the Perry Reese Jr. Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a senior who has demonstrated a strong work ethic and persistence. This is a renewable scholarship for four years. Previous recipients include Sarah Kurtz and Terrell Gingrich. This year's recipient of the Perry Reese, Perry Reese Jr. Memorial Scholarship is Patricia Neininger. Patricia plans to attend Wright State University to major in early childhood and special education. Congratulations, Patricia. Next, we have the Brian Hummel Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Brian Hummel, who was a strong supporter of Highland and its students. Previous recipients include Aaliyah Schrock and Bradley Miller. This year's recipient of the Brian Hummel Memorial Scholarship is Krista Troyer. After graduation, Krista plans to attend the University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown to major in special education. Congratulations, Krista. For our next scholarship, we have the Berlin Main Street Merchant Scholarship. This scholarship is given through funds raised by the Highland Academic Booster Club sub-auction. Previous recipients include Haley Miller and Aaron Schleyball. This year's recipient of the Berlin Main Street Merchant Scholarship is Abigail Flinner. After graduation, Abigail plans to attend Kent State University to study interior design. Congratulations, Abigail. For our next scholarship, we have the Weaver Leather Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a student who plans to pursue a career in business, graphic design, accounting, journalism, architecture, advertising, or marketing. This scholarship is given in memory of an employee of Weaver Leather. Previous recipients include Lindsay Mast and Patrick Miller. This year's recipient of the Weaver Leather Scholarship is Grace Mast. Grace plans to attend Kent State University and study accounting. Congratulations, Grace. I would now like to invite Assistant Principal Scott Pringle to continue our scholarship program. Thank you, Mr. Sprang. Let's move on to the Holmes Byproducts Scholarship. That is given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. Previous recipients are Logan Miller and Taylor Oswalt. This year's Holmes Byproducts Scholarship is Elise Miller. Elise plans to attend Kent State University and major in American Sign Language and English Interpreting. Our next scholarship is the Commercial and Savings Bank Scholarship. This is given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. Previous recipients are Jasmine Hershey and Alec Yoder. This year's Commercial Savings Bank Scholarship is Patrick Miller. Patrick plans to attend Kent State University Tuscarawas Branch and is undecided in his major. The next scholarship is the Centaur Scholarship. It's given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. Previous recipients are Fallon Miller and Kyle Mast. This year's Centaur Scholarship is Shelby Miller. Shelby plans to attend Kent State University to major in nursing. The Malone University Alumni Scholarship is given to two seniors who will attend Malone University. Previous recipients are Amber Yoder. This year's recipient is Dylan Kaufman. He plans to attend Malone University and major in nursing. 
And also Sarah Custard. Sarah again is attending Malone University, is going to major in early childhood and special education. The Mike Schaup Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Mike Schaup, a former Highland student and baseball player who passed away during his senior year at Highland. This is given to a student who played baseball for the Highland Hawks. Previous recipients are Michael Schaup and Cameron Miller. This year's Mike Schaup Memorial Scholarship is Casey Kalman. Casey plans to attend Mount Vernon Nazarene University and major in education. The next scholarship is the Lauren and Mary Hostetler Memorial Scholarship. This is given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. This is a first time uh, scholarship. The Lauren and Mary Hostetler Memorial Scholarship recipient is Joel Cornhouse. Joel plans to attend college and major in computer engineering or computer science. The next scholarship is the Holmes County Flea Market Scholarship. It's given to two deserving seniors who plan to attend college. Previous recipients are Lakota Mast, Andy Miller, and Damian Candle. This year's Holmes County Flea Market Scholarship recipients are Chloe Ayers. Chloe plans to attend Kent State University and is majoring in fashion merchandising with a minor in fashion media. The next recipient is Chloe Beachy. Chloe plans to attend Liberty University to major in commercial music with a business minor. I would like now I would like to now ask Mr. Bune to come forward to continue our scholarship program. Thank you, Mr. Pringle. Our first scholarship, the East Holmes Family Care Scholarship, given to a student who plans to pursue a career in the medical field. Previous recipient, Declan Howe. This year's recipient, Kara Cornhouse. Kara plans after graduation to attend college and major in nursing. The Hummel Group Scholarship, given to a senior who plans to attend college and major in business. Previous year recipients were Hannah Gerber and Aaron Weaver. This year's recipient is Taylor Mullet. After graduation, Taylor plans to attend The Ohio State University and major in finance. The Kilbuck Savings Bank Scholarship, given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. Previous year recipients were Whitney Kahn and Braden Ayers. This year recipient is Adri Miller. Adri's plans after graduation are to attend Kent State University and major in accounting. The Walnut Creek Cheese Scholarship, given to a senior who plans to attend college using funds raised by the annual sub-auction. Last year's recipients were Jaden Hostetler and Joey Miller. This year's recipient is Chloe Kahn. After graduation, Chloe plans to attend Rosedale Bible College to major in Bible study with a focus in missions. The Yoder Lumber Scholarship. The Yoder Lumber Scholarship is given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. Last year's recipients were Emily Troyer and Nadia Hirschberger. This year's recipient is Tyler Schrock. After graduation, Tyler plans to attend college and major in information technology and computer science. The Dutchman Hospitality Scholarship. The Dutchman, Dutchman Hospitality Scholarship is given to a senior who plans to attend college. Last year's recipients were Brandon Hostetler and Jennifer Wood. This year's recipient is Chloe Padilla. After graduation, Chloe plans to attend Miami University and is undecided as to what field she will study. The Kaufman Realty and Auction Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. Previous recipients were Brooke Miller and Aaron Schlebaugh. 
This year's recipient is Madison Yoder. After graduation, Madison plans to attend The Ohio State University to major in human development and family science. I would like to now ask Mr. Noah Boyd to come forward to continue our scholarship program. The next scholarship is the Keim Lumber Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. Previous recipients include Christian Troyer and Mackenzie Maurer. This year's recipient is Isaac Hirschberger. After graduation, Isaac plans to attend Kent State University to major in engineering. The next scholarship is the Beaches Incorporated Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a senior who plans to major in healthcare at college. Previous re recipients include Shanna Miller and Will Mast. This year's recipient is Abigail Beach. After graduation, Abigail plans to attend Indiana Wesleyan University to major in exercise science and preoccupational therapy. The next scholarship is the First Federal Bank Scholarship. The scholarship is given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. This is the first year that this scholarship is being awarded. The recipient this year is Shane Hirschberger. After graduation, Shane plans to attend Kent State University at Tuscaroras to major in accounting. The next scholarship is the Provia Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student who shows excellent motivation and leadership potential. This is a two-year renewable scholarship. Previous recipients include Marissa Summers and Timothy Schleyball. This year's recipient is Mia Gertz. After graduation, Mia plans to attend Cedarville University and major in accounting. The next scholarship is the Music Boosters Corral Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a member of the Highland Choir who has been involved in the program while attending school. Previous recipients include Kaylee Keim. The recipient of this year's scholarship is Lily Reese. After graduation, Lily plans to attend Cedarville University to major in pre-med. The next scholarship is the Music Boosters Band Scholarship. This is given to a member of the Highland Band who has been involved in the program during their high school career. This year's recipient is Trent Schleyball. After graduation, Trent plans to attend the University of Akron to major in music education. The next scholarship is the Academic Booster Scholarship. These scholarships are given to deserving seniors who plan to attend college. There will be three recipients, and they are Sam Habiger. Sam plans to attend The Ohio State University and major in business. Ann Straits, after graduation, Ann plans to attend Case Western Reserve University to major in biomedical engineering. And also Jalissa Whitebrecht. After graduation, Jalissa plans to attend Hope Sound Bible College to major in counseling. I would now like to ask Mr. Bune to return to the stage to share our community scholarships. Thank you, Mr. Boyd, for our community scholarships. First, the First Knox National Bank Scholarship, given to a deserving senior who plans to attend college. This is the first time awarding this scholarship this year. This year's recipient is Melody Murtaugh. After graduation, Melody plans to attend the University of Akron, Wayne Branch, and major in journalism. 
the PM Graham Family Scholarship. These scholarships are presented by the Holmes County Retired Teachers Association to students planning to attend either Kent State University or the College of Worcester. This year's recipients, first, Emmerich Flinner. After graduation, Emmerich plans to attend Kent State University and major in architecture. Shane Hirschberger. After graduation, Shane plans to attend Kent State University, Tuscararas, and major in accounting. And third, Grace Mast. After graduation, Grace plans to attend Kent State University and study accounting. Adri Miller. After graduation, Adri plans to attend Kent State University to major in accounting. Elise Miller. After graduation, Elise plans to attend Kent State University and major in American Sign Language and English Interpreting. Kim Miller. After graduation, Kim plans to attend Kent State University and pursue a master's degree in speech language pathology. Patrick Miller. After graduation, Patrick plans to attend Kent State University Tuscarawas branch and is undecided on his major. Shelby Miller. After graduation, Shelby plans to attend Kent State University to major in nursing. The Altcare Leadership Scholarship. The Altcare Leadership Scholarship is given to a student who exemplifies leadership, academics, and extracurricular involvement. This year's recipient is Shelby Miller. Shelby, after graduation, plans to attend Kent State University to major in nursing. The Wayne College Founders Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a student who will be attending the University of Akron Wayne College branch. This year's recipient is Melody Murtaugh. After graduation, Melody plans to attend the University of Akron Wayne College and major in journalism. I would like to now invite Darla Stitzline from the Holmes County Education Foundation to share this year's scholarship recipients. Thank you, Eric. Hello, I'm Darla Stitzline, Executive Director of the Holmes County Education Foundation. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my honor to be here today representing the Holmes County Education Foundation. I'd like to thank Mr. Bune, Mr. Sprang, Mr. Pringle, and Mr. Boyd for the opportunity to be here to present our scholarships. This year, 27 Highland seniors submitted scholarship applications. I want to commend each and every one of you that applied for our scholarships. We are so impressed with your academics, your servant hearts, and your commitment to your community. For the past 31 years, the foundation has been providing scholarships based on financial need per the wishes of our original donor. Since inception that year, $3.1 million has been awarded to over 870 Highland High School graduates. We're looking to build more endowed funds for merit-based scholarship and hope to accomplish this with East Holmes support in the future that would allow us to award Highland students with merit-based aid that they are so deserving of. Today I am pleased to award $44,800 to the following 22 Highland High School graduating seniors. Abigail Beach. She is receiving the Dr. Owen and Mildred Patterson Scholarship, Judson and Beverly Schuler Scholarship, and the Scenic Point Nursing and Rehabilitation Center Scholarship. Chloe Beachy. She is receiving the Holmes County Education Foundation Scholarship. Chloe Kahn. She is receiving the Bigelow United Methodist Church Scholarship Holmes County Ministerial Association Scholarship, Millersburg Rotary Club Scholarship, and the Millersburg Lions Club Scholarship. Abigail Flinner. She is receiving the Robert and Elsie Golly Educational Scholarship. Emmerich Flinner. He is receiving the Thomas Lehman Memorial Scholarship. Mia Gertz. 
She is receiving the Troyer Cheese Highland Scholarship. Isaac Hirschberger. He is receiving the Bruce and Janet Mann Scholarship. Shane Hirschberger. He is receiving the Robert and Elsie Golly Educational Scholarship. Corey Hostetler is receiving the Robert and Elsie Golly Educational Scholarship. Casey Kalman is receiving the Don and Onita Grandma Way Memorial Scholarship. Dylan Kaufman is receiving the Mike and Cindy Taylor Family Scholarship and the Millersburg Lions Club Scholarship. Grace Mast is receiving the Dale and Catherine Lom Family Scholarship and the Thomas Lehman Memorial Scholarship. Brindley McVicker is receiving the Robert and Elsie Golly Educational Scholarship and the Robert and Della Ramsire Scholarship. Adriana Miller is receiving the Holmes County Education Foundation Scholarship. Elise Miller is receiving the Robert and Elsie Golly Education Scholarship. Patrick Miller is receiving the Robert and Elsie Golly Educational Scholarship. Patricia Nining Patricia Neininger is receiving the Blair Slutes Memorial Education Scholarship, Roy and Dorothy Stallman Memorial Scholarship, and the Don and Anita Grandma Way Memorial Scholarship. Trent Schlebaugh is receiving the Spirit of Highland Scholarship and Helen R. Young's Music Scholarship. Tyler Schrock is receiving the Robert Nelsie Golly Memorial Scholarship and the MMF Scholarship. Ann Straits is receiving the Holmes County Education Foundation Scholarship. Krista Troyer is receiving the Donald C. Ager Memorial Scholarship, Fred and Ollie Hoffman Scholarship, and the Millersburg Lions Club Scholarship. And Madison Yoder is receiving the Holmes County OSU Alumni Chapter Scholarship. I'd like to thank you for letting me be a part of this unique celebration this year. Congratulations and best wishes to the Highland High School class of 2020. I'd like, at this time, I would now like to ask Mr. Sprang to return to the podium. Thank you, Darla. Again, I would like to thank the foundation and Darla Stitzline, as well as our community scholarship donors. We truly appreciate the support. For our final two scholarships of the evening, we would like to recognize our valedictorian and salutatorian. For the class of 2020, the salutatorian is Joel Cornhouse. Joel plans to attend college and major in computer engineering or computer science. Next, we have the valedictorian scholarship. The class of 2020's valedictorian is Ann Straits. Ann plans to attend Case Western Reserve University and major in biomedical engineering. This concludes the 32nd Annual Highland Honors and Scholarship Banquet. Again, thank you for taking time to be with us and recognizing the accomplishment of our students. To our donors, parents, and staff, thank you for your unparalleled support of our students. Each and every one of you has made a difference in the lives of our, of our kids. To our seniors, best of luck as you enter the next phase of your life. Set high goals, work hard, and be positive when faced with challenging circumstances. And finally, remember that you will always have a school and a community behind you 100%. We will always be your biggest cheerleader. Thank you, and have a great evening.